today we've got another day of testing here. We've got the um, Discovery 330 and we're essentially doing some propeller testing. I've got a variety of, of different propellers, different diameters, different shapes, different pitch sizes and we're going to test them on two different engines. This is a G6 and a Mercury 9.9 and we're going to go and see what the uh, results are. So we are here off Green Height. Uh, one of our favourite testing testing spots. Um, let's get out there. We're going to do a standing start and see how long it takes to get to full speed. So that's one of our one of our tests. Here we go. I'm gonna call that 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Now we're gonna do a hard turn test to uh, see how much grip we've got in the prop in the hard turns. That's one place where any propeller is going to want to let go is when you're, when you're turning hard. So I could definitely feel it letting go a little bit there. So, you know, that's a case where the more shape you've got in the blades of the prop, the better. But uh, So we've gone into the dock. We've taken the old prop off. We've put a new one on. This one's got a little bit bigger diameter, slightly flatter blade, closer to a cleaver style. And it's a soulless prop. And we're going to do a comparison between this one and the other one. And we'll see how it goes. We'll run through the same tests, like uh, top, Top end speed, acceleration, uh, grip in the turns, and th those sort of parameters, and we'll see how it Very similar to the other prop, top end speed anyway. What have we learnt so far on this comparison? Well, one, top end speed is almost identical. The, the first prop might have been 0.5 of a kilometre an hour faster. You could say 24 for one and 24 and a half for the other, so very little in it. I believe this one, which has a slightly bigger diameter, has a bit better grip in the turns. It just really, you can just feel it gripping that water. You, you put your helm down, you do a hard turn and things are biting the whole time. Whereas the other one, when you went helm hard down, you got a little bit of, a little bit of slip. Um, but yeah, not much in it. Um, and now we're just gonna do the acceleration test from, from uh, naught to, to top end and uh, see how long that takes. Hang on, Polo. This one's one second faster, so eight seconds compared to nine seconds to go to top end speed. So you have to say they're very, very similar with a tiny edge.
So next up in our testing, we're going to go back to the dock, take the Suzuki 6 horse off, put a Mercury 9.9 .9 on, and then we're going to run through three different propeller changes to uh, see how they compare. Right, we're out here again, We've got the Mercury 9.9. .9. I'll put the camera at a different angle just to give you a, a different perspective of the boat. Uh, we're starting off with a very standard Mercury 9.9 .9 prop on and we're going to see how that goes. out here again uh, with the Mercury 9.9 .9, and we've got the a, a standard Mercury prop which I've modified myself just to see if we can squeeze a little bit more performance out of it. So we'll see how this one goes. test and the drop and turns test. Uh, this one's a little bit slower as a top end speed which you expect when you put the shape of the blades of the prop. Uh, it's probably knocked about two kilometers an hour off the top end speed but it is amazing grip and turn so you can basically push it into a super hard turn with this slow on the boat and it will not it won't lose any grip at all so you know there's a little trade-off there but yeah it seems to work quite well. So this is our fifth test of the day. I've got a uh, Solus prop which has been cut and it has a little bit more rake as well. So it's the same same diameter, slightly different shape, um, but certainly has more rake in it. So that what that means is the blades of the propeller have, have more angle on it. It should get more bow lift. So we'll see how this one goes. Back at headquarters now. Unfortunately, the battery in the GoPro ran out, so we, we missed out on the last few tests. But it might have been getting a bit boring for you anyway. So, um, just going to give you a little wrap up of what we learned today. And every time we do one of these testing sessions, we uh, you're always learning. You know, there's there's so much to learn about the performance of boats and how each boat interacts with the engine and the propeller and the load in the boat and the sea state and all that sort of thing but um, the conclusions were that you know our boats in particular but probably all small boats they love a propeller with quite a bit of shape in the blades so the cupping on the trailing edge makes a big difference um, it doesn't necessarily enhance top end speed it might knock a little bit off it but it gives you much better acceleration much better grip in the turns and it's just an all-round better prop um, you know these are some of the ones here that we that we tested today I ended up running through quite a few props um, there was you know the clear winners are the aftermarket props over the the standard ones supplied with the outboard uh, the Pandora ones which we source from uh, Steve at Propeller Warehouse in Australia are fantastic those ones um, have a little bit more rake in the blade so the blades are slightly more raked aft which gives you a little bit more bow lift and uh, that seems to work really well with the boats and certainly the the ones those, those props those aftermarket ones with the, 
a nice little tight lip on the trailing edge uh, give great performance for the boat so that's the um, that's the wrap up here we're just flushing out the outboards we took the Suzuki DT DF6 and the Mercury 9.9 .9. so that you know they're two good solid engines to test the boat with um, the Discovery 330s rated up to 15 so we could have done it with a with a Yamaha 15 as well and uh, that's probably what we'll take out next time anyway we'll see you in the future